Hello everyone and welcome to the brick formula review of LEGO set 7066 Earth Defense HQ. It has 879 pieces and it's for ages 8 to 14. Hmm, I think I'm a little too old but who cares. It's from the new series Alien Conquest and it retails at $89.99. Here you'll see the picture of the set in all its glory. What attracted me to this set is the Vic Viper which I'm a really big fan of. Notice how it comes with a new canopy over there. I think only one other set has that. Okay, this set actually has a lot of neat parts, which I will go over real quick. Take for example this windshield. The last time I saw that was in 2008 in the Secret Agent series, I think. I'm not sure, I have to double check. I also notice, if you look carefully, there is a slope piece here. That is pretty new. I don't have too many of those. And if you look at where the sticker is, I almost missed this. That's a 2x4 dark stone flat piece, which is really nice. And then there is this gun, which is new and unique to the set. More on that later. And what I thought was pretty cool is the alien clinger. Which you can see, it looks like it possesses people. You can tell by the way she's a little off balanced. Okay, the sides of the box do not have much to offer except for this side where you see the minifigures more on that later and then here is the back of the box which will show most if not all the playability that comes with this set and I will go through each one in more detail coming up okay first I'd like to introduce the minifigures here's the lineup we have three humans versus two and a half aliens as you can see everyone gets a gun except for the little guy I guess it's because he's underaged First, let's look at the weapons. We have this new and unique piece, which is new to the series. Okay, we have the ray gun, which you may recognize from the minifigure series. Okay, here we have an older gentleman and a young woman. I think we've all heard that story before. Okay, here's what he looks like. Nice artwork. He has a face on the back where the mustache is tilted. And he's got some body art on the back. Here is the young lady, which you may recognize on the box because she's always in trouble. She has a different body art than the first guy, see? And just like him, she also has a face on the back, which is her possessed look, which combined with the alien clinger will make her look like, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so that looks like fun. Next, we have the scientist, who I think is a better match for the lady because they're both crazy. Judging by the artwork, there's some slime on his suit, which means that he is the one that works on the aliens after we capture them, which sounds like fun. Can't wait to see that. Yeah, right. Let's see. Here is the alien leader because, well, he's got the bigger brain, and he looks like a cross between the Terminator and an alien. There's no artwork on the back, which is okay. Both of them don't have artwork, so I'll leave that one in the saucer and this one on the stretcher. I like his tentacle arm though. That means this one's for punching, this is for tickling. I especially like the way they made the head. Let me show you why. Because that part comes off, and if you notice, his head is actually three pieces. I guess that means he's used for dissecting later on, if that's your thing. Here's his partner. He's got the smaller brain and a big mouth. I think we all know someone like that. I'm not going to mention any names. His artwork is different from the first guy. See? And no artwork on the back. And finally, I think what we have is the coolest piece ever is the alien clinger whose sole purpose in life is to cling on your head and possess. Pretty cool. Okay, on to the set. I'll introduce the units as they're built in the instruction book. Here we go. Okay, first we're going to look at the cart. Here it is. It's a pretty nice cart. This is what it looks like from the right. The front. The back. The top. And the bottom. Okay, it doesn't look like it goes very fast, but it will do everything you need it to do, including carrying a captured alien 
like so or you can use it to carry someone who just got possessed for a checkup okay hopefully to get that new hair to removed good luck with that and more importantly this card will take you from point A to point B on to the next okay here's the alien saucer alright this is what it looks like from the top that's the bottom that's the front the side and the back alright the canopy opens like this and the alien goes in okay and what you have here is a pretty solid build the only thing I don't like is that it makes that sound when it shakes because of the canopy you would think the aliens with their technology and all they would have got that right I guess not here is the prison pod that they use to hold the aliens after they've been captured as you can see it's a very simple build pretty straightforward okay it opens like this and the alien goes in you just have to make sure that the feet go all the way in or else he won't fit okay you close it and now he's ready for transport to your next biology class probably to dissect his brain which sounds like fun up next we have the Vic Viper which as you can see it looks really cool it's a pretty strong build too okay here's the side there's the top there's the front notice how it's nice and flat it's a really nice design here's the bottom there's no landing gear well maybe this is the landing gear it depends on how you look at it there's the back very nice I especially like the detail over here that they did with the laser guns makes it look somewhat high-tech okay there's also supposed to be some stickers along the edge here I didn't add them on and plus it looks pretty good without them anyway also like this canopy there's only one other set out there that has it which is the Star Wars Imperial Viewing Fighter this is also the only playable feature on here it opens up like this and if you look inside it's pretty spacious however you don't want to put your pilot in the last four studs because if you do you can't close it it's going to give her a headache so you just want to make sure you put her in the first four studs so she can lean back where there's a pillow no headache give her the joystick close the canopy and now she's ready to take on some mean aliens on to the next now we have the first half of the mobile unit which is this heavily armored vehicle this is what it looks like from the left the top the bottom nothing special there here we have the back where you see the control room and the guy is checking out his Facebook page here's the front which is uh, looks pretty cool and intimidating at the same time okay we have the guns over here which can aim in just about every direction we have the headlights here that move up and down when you're building this be careful not to push this part all the way in alright also we'll block this canopy from opening like so okay so you just wanna pull that out a little okay and there we go inside you'll see two seats one for the driver that's essential the passenger not so much I thought these doors over here were pretty cool. They open like so. I wish they put a handle here because it, sometimes it's a little hard to open. But you'll get it. And I thought this was really neat, even though this is probably where you put the prison pod. And then onto the really cool missile pod over here. This can rotate at a full 360. The only bad thing about it is that it doesn't move up and down, so when you have an alien saucer flying by, like it is right now you'll just have to wait till it glides up and you fire and that's it alien is down as you notice I had to push this button here and it will fire all four missiles for you which is overkill but that's fine and lastly this part can be removed it's only attached by these two green studs over here and this acts as a standalone defense unit and you notice there's a seat in the middle there so if you want front row seats to all the action, that's where you would sit. On to the trailer. 
finally we now have the trailer which is a big box on wheels okay this is the top and as you notice there's a turret here which can rotate a full 360 degrees this is also where you park the Vic Viper which I'll show you that later and you can adjust this whole thing with this knob it goes up like that just as far as it goes okay here's the side and here's the back we can lower the ramp and your car can drive in and out which is pretty neat okay in the front is the other half of the command center another way to check Facebook okay inside is a medical lab which you can play with if you remove the top like that okay there are two studs here that's what holds it together and if you look inside and oh look he's already got his brains out there's biology 101 for you alien brains are green it's actually kinda gross I should take them out this video is meant for kids okay there we go sorry about that now I know wife's alone I don't want to be his assistant anyway over here we have a cabinet where he puts his laptop and over here is another cabinet where he puts the utensils if I didn't know any better it looks like a kitchen you have two needles there pretty nice and over here these sides come out which I have to admit when I was building it I didn't know what it was for but I finally figured it out this is for internet and that's for satellite TV after all what's a trailer without those right and that sums up the trailer now to put it all together okay first we're going to look at the trailer underneath you have this mechanism okay if you notice there's a hook here which attaches to this and that will hold this in place just give it a small push and it will release and it will stop right here at this bracket so that it doesn't go any further and to the two vehicles attach together right here see those red hooks and they go in like that and then you have one big limo okay you can still split it apart of course like so and you want to hold on to this until you feel the click and then you can play with it like that if you don't do that you can disengage this part which is fine you can still connect it I just find it better to do it that way and in the end though I still prefer this thing closed but before you do that you might want to warn this guy to keep his hands and legs inside the vehicle because that closes pretty quick over here we can park the car inside it should fit just nicely despite the cabinet handles there we go over here we can open this we'll put the prison pod inside it's got a nice little handle if you want to take it out pretty convenient but you still need one over here as I mentioned earlier this pod is for the Vic Viper and this fits just right see pretty cool right you want to see it again this is the back side so it just goes and slides like that and these two yellow pieces hold it up and this goes right here and finally we have the missile pod and there you go now they're ready to take on the aliens just the three of them the only thing I found odd about this is that if you were to rotate this all the way okay it will get caught with the rockets right here which is fine I guess just don't do it too much or else you will loosen the assembly over here Otherwise, I think they're good.